Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to yet another TV review. Um, This week, as I promised, uh, I was going to review uh, Netflix's The Night Agent. Not to be confused with my IP, uh, this, uh, that's Night Agent. This one's called The Night Agent. And this one's uh, uh, totally different from what my IP is. And uh, I I got a chance to watch it um, during my my little leave away from work, work while I was competing home with my daughter. And uh, I will say say this: I was able to binge watch it in this entire first season. Yes, we're not. This show did get reviewed for a second, renewed for a second season. I'm curious where they're going to take it, but that's a story for later on. But I will say, first impressions alone just had me just going, "Holy crap! This is feels pretty darn good. This it feels like I'm watching." a Tom Clancy thrower being brought to life in a different level because because like it has the formula all there. It's like an intricate little, little hero with a very interesting backstory. You got all these art interesting backstories going on. There's like a terrorist plot. It also intertwines with another plot that's going on that involves the Vice President's star. And it's all explained explained as the and throughout the ten ten episode run and and, and to great and to great extent. Like uh, they, there's so there's so much cloak and dagger. It just makes you makes you feel like, oh my God, what who is who is to trust? Who is behind every door door that that's that's the bad guy who's who's re who's really in on this on this plot to just destroy to destroy the capital or something like that like i'm trying not to give too much of the, of the details away because again for for those that have never have seen this or don't know what's going on it's a it's one of those conspiracy political thrillers is but it's more it's but it's definitely an espionage th thrower to my book because because uh, of the because the whole main hero he kind of reminds me of someone like a jack ryan or J or Colonel J John Smith in the Covert One series that that uh, um, that Robert Lowell created, you know, something like a, like a Jason Bourne kind of thing, if that makes any sense, because because I feel like you got all these intricate um, like characteristics that just throw throw into a blender, and here's what yeah yeah yeah, and it, like it's just fantastic how they played it all out. And well, my only problem with this with this whole show is that I feel like some of these cliches, you, you, I feel like I've seen and heard them before. Especially when it comes to like one of those conspiracy thrillers or or espionage thriller, it's like okay, well, here, here's a saying we gotta keep it uh, in DC. Well, yeah, obviously that, but can we go a little outside of that? Can we think we can expand upon it more? But then again, I've seen more of the other stuff like one has fallen and one has fallen kind of thing to to really hone in on this whole book called conspiracy th thriller kind of stuff, which I've already reviewed those two movies uh, during my Action Sunday run, so. So with all of that out of the way, like what you get, you get something really interesting and just makes you begging for more. And that's what the show do does best. It's like it leaves you guessing, lets you keep thinking until the very end of each episode. And, and you're like, oh, my God, what's going to happen? Happen in the next episode. It's like, oh, is someone getting kidnapped? Oh, is someone getting killed? Is there... Is there is, is someone about to get murdered? And, and, and again, great character building on most of these characters, from everyone from our main hero, or uh, to the to the tech person that the that the night that the night action hotline is trying to protect. You've got you've got the, the former secret service turned bodyguard to protect the uh, president's uh, vice president's star. I said vice president, not the president. This is the vice president. Of course, then the vice president also has a, his own his own interesting like cr crooked, corrupted uh, backstory, which kind of ties into the main plot of the whole story, which again, I don't want to give that away. It's just something you have to see to understand because, because we're not, and sometimes it will give you whiplash. I'm going to, well, you guys with that warning, it's like, you have to stop and realize, okay, I think we're going a little too quick. Hold on. Let me give, give myself a time, time to relax and get my, get my bearings. Okay. Where is this going? How is this affected in the in the final story in the long run? What does this, what does this have to do with our main character? What does this have to do with her, this guy or that guy? Well, yeah, yes. Again, again, at least it gives you moments to breathe. And of course, obviously, you can't can't just marathon all these in one saying. Which I kind of marathon a few in one saying, and then of course I was like, hold on, hold on, I need to take a break for a sec. Give me a day or two, then I'll fin finish it up. And that's what I did because then I was easily to wrap my head around. Okay. Who was who was the real culprit? How it, and how it all went down, and then by the end you're you're fully invested. And by the end you're like, yay, go work. The the the, the, the evil's been taken out. The good the the job job well done. Our heroes hero walks off to the sunset, quote unquote. 
But but what about night night action? Well, where's this lead? So so yeah, there's a lot more questions and answers that kind of sets it up for for a second season. And I've and again, when it goes back to the Tom Clancy aspect, it definitely feels like they were borrowing elements from a Tom Clancy thriller. And I've Pratt and Red and something along the lines of like SSN and Rainbow Six and and Patriot Games and all that. And you could definitely feel feel that throughout the throughout the story, if that makes sense. Now, when it comes to star power, well, to be honest, I don't, I didn't recognize a single person, with the exception of Robert Patrick. Yes, out of all the people in this in this series, you get Robert Patrick. He plays he plays one guy and he gets killed in the first episode. Why? Come on, come on! I was really excited and see, invested to see Robert Patrick because hey, he's a guy that my wife has met, as I mentioned in the past on this channel. So yeah, yeah, it's like you you really get fully invested in some of these characters and actors that you want to see win. As for our main hero, uh, hero, he's played by a guy named Gabriel Sass, Basso or something like that. So uh, yeah, yeah, you're like okay again. He's a fairly unknown to me, but he definitely pulls off this role perfectly. He blends the how I say that the Jason Bourne aspect with someone of a bit of a I don't know like kind of like a Jack Ryan like pre like like desk jockey Jack Ryan before he decided to become, become a field field agent kind of thing if that makes sense if since you know like the if if you and you get you get my drift there but yeah overall it's a great viewing experience I'd say. Watch at your own pace because, like I said, it will give you whiplash at times. But overall, it's a great viewing experience, and you're kind of expecting more for for the series. But then again, again, I'm really excited um, for the se for the second season. I understand it in the second in the second season is being filmed as we speak. I don't know when it drops, but keep me informed informed Netflix because I really want to see see where we go with our hero from here, right? And with that in mind, I'm gonna give Netflix's The Night Agent, not my IP. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Fair. Does that, does that seem fair? I feel it, feel it is, all right? So, yeah, I definitely say give this give this show a watch. It's definitely an original, original piece of work. Um, it's, on, it's on Netflix. Ten, 10 episodes. Can't go wrong there, all right? So that does it for, for today. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for some more awesome and exciting content.